What's up, YouTube? It's Aiden here. Um, I know it's been a little bit since I made an actual video that didn't have to do with top surgery or anything like that. So, um, first thing, uh, my three years on T was October 30th, right before Halloween. So, I'm three years on T. Um, you know, I'm not going to make, like, a physical changes, anything like that. Um, although, you know, changes are happening, um, body structure is still changing, um, you know, more facial hair, um, you know, some of the basic stuff that, um, you know, continues on for a few years while you're on tape. Um, so, I'm really excited. I can't believe three years have gone by. It's, 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 it's kind of crazy um, how long it's been. Like, you don't really think about it. Um, and then all of a sudden, you're like, wow been so long um so yeah three years is pretty good amount of time to be on tea um i'm doing no shave november um i only started on the third though um so i'm like three days behind but it's coming in pretty good you know i look like uh having shaved in a few days which is what happened um i was trying to grow my hair out on my head i just i couldn't do it i couldn't do it I used to have, like, a long, like, hair where you go like this, and, like, all the hair goes to the side. Um, I I couldn't do it. So I may try again. Winter's coming. I'll be wearing a lot of hats, so it might happen. It might not. But um, what I wanted to make this video about was pretty much, like, being three years on T and, you know, passing and, and having the hormones in my system for a while now. Um, and, you know, I really won't only miss maybe not missed, but was late maybe four or five times, maybe a handful of times in the whole three years that I've been on. So, I mean, that's what, 50, 104, 156 weeks, something like that. Um, so, four out of 156, not that bad. Um, but what I really want to make this video about is, like, keeping my feminine side. And when I say my fem feminine side, I don't mean, like, um, you know, how I dress, or any outward appearance whatsoever, really, um, or even, like, you know, my likes or dislikes, but um, what I have noticed in this last year, between the second and third year, um, I, I don't think about being trans as much as maybe I used to. Um, of course, I'm very much in the community, and yeah, I know I'm trans and, you know, all that, but um, in my day-to-day -day life, when I'm out and about, when I'm at the gym, when I'm at work, when I'm going shopping, food shopping, or whatever, you know what I mean? Um, I don't really think about being trans or being any different than anybody else. Um, I've kind of grown into myself, and I am who I am now, and being trans is something that I am, and, you know, that's that's it. Um, so it's a little different now. Um, my likes have changed a little bit, um, even though I just... That I was talking about that I am um my likes have changed a little bit and not that what I used to like I don't like now I still like everything I used to like but um I, I'm starting to like different things like I'm really starting to like um you know and and listen I'm gonna say some stereotypical stuff okay and sometimes stereotypes are there because you know they're they're stereotypical but they're kind of some of them times it's true you know what I mean um, most men like sports. Okay, that's a stereotype, but it's it's half of a truth, too. Um, it became a stereotype because it's pretty much half of it is, is true. You know, most men do like sports. Um, women like nail polish because most women do like nail polish. Um, and if, you know, I got a lot of responses to that last video I made um, about, like, um, wanting ma more male friends. And I just want to remind everybody, like, if you somewhat watch consecutively, not consecutively, like, con you know, if you somewhat watch my videos, I hope that I give off the uh, vibe that, like, I'm not um, sexist or any of those things that people were saying, um, or that I don't drink beers with women or anything like that. Um, I was just trying to explain the differences of how I felt. So now I'm going to explain how um, I feel more masculine or I'm fitting into more of the masculine category as opposed to the feminine category and as opposed to the first year or two on T, um, that interchanging in between category. So when I say things, I don't want anybody to take it in the wrong way. And this is pretty much the disclaimer. 
the things I'm going to say are going to be um, very general so that people can relate to them. I'm not going to get, um, you know, start talking about things that people can't relate to. So, you know, put all your judgments aside. Um, so, I I don't think about being trans any not anymore, but as much. Like, I feel more masculine. I feel more into myself. I feel more you know, this is who I am and, and this is who I've always been. You know what I mean? It's nice. I feel more comfortable. Um, you know, I feel like I want to be on the guy side, not the girl side, because that's where I belong, as opposed to prior to kind of lately, that's where I wanted to be. You know, I always wanted to dress like a man. I always wanted to be on the guy side. I wanted to do the sports thing. I wanted to, you know, drink the beer or, you know what I mean? Like I wanted to do those, those male things. Um, and now I, and it used to be because I wanted it. I really wanted it. I wanted to fit in there. I wanted to be that. I wanted to be this. Now, not so much. Now it's more like, well, yeah, I'm, I'm talking, I'm going to hang out with the guys at the party while my wife hangs out with the girls because that's, that's where I go. You know what I mean? Not because that's where I want to go. It's because, you know, I'm a guy and I'm going to hang out with the guys. But I used to think about it so much more. It used to be such a thought in my head. You know what I mean? Like, it was a conscious thought. My fucking cat is running up and down. Do you see this? Pretty funny. Um, now, not so much. Now it's just like, well, that's, you know, that, that's where I go. And you, you're a girl. You go over there. And you know what I mean? Um, you know, we have, like, les lots of, my wife works for an LGBT center. So, like, we have friends from all different genres, I'll say. And, you know... Yeah, you know, there might be a lesbian in the girl section, might be a lesbian in the guy section, but I'm just saying, you know, um, you know, I feel like I have to be so specific lately because people have been kind of like, um, not attacking me, but kind of like taking every single word I say and like nitpicking at it. So I'm trying to be in between like I always am, but um, lately these topics have been very masculinized and um, I just want to express that I'm not, you know, being all the things that in the last video everyone said I was. So, but point is, I work with all guys now, except for one girl, and I swear she's a lesbian, but she hasn't told me, so I don't know. But, you know, um, things are just handled differently. Uh, I feel, I just feel more male. Coming on to my third year on T, I feel like I don't have to think about being a man. I go to the bathroom, and I use a stall. And I don't think Oh, I'm not using the the urinal. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm not doing this. Oh, I, don't know, I can't do that. It's just I'm a man and I'm a different kind of man, and that's what I do. You know what I mean? This is how I do it. This is what I do. Um, you know, as opposed to this other dude. Whatever that dude does, that sure do it. You know what I mean? Um, and at the same sense, I'm because I'm feeling so masculine and and I'm really fitting into that role now that I've always wanted to and I always should have fit into. Um, I'm not that I'm losing my feminine side, but I'm trying to hold on to it. I'm trying to engage in, um, feminine type things. Like, I don't want to forget, I guess what I'm getting at is I don't want to forget that I came from that side of the field, you know, and I don't ever want to forget that. I don't want to forget what it felt like to be a female and what it felt like to be, you know, have my period or get judged by men or feel like, um, you know, a sexual item or, um, you know, feel not equal to a man. You know, I, I want to remember those things so that I don't ever treat a woman the wrong way. I don't ever look at a woman as a sexual object. I don't ever, you know, think that a woman can't do it. You know, um, I just, I don't, I want to make sure that I stay true to myself you know um i want to always see things on an equal playing field um and and i think it's really important i think i know some guys who are a little longer on t and i feel like they kind of lose it and you know i don't blame them i don't blame them but i also don't want to be them you know what i mean i don't want to be that guy who oh well he's trans he should understand but he's such a dick or whatever, you know what I mean? Um, I want to always stay in tune with that side of my, and um, I think it's something that has to be, like it really truly does, has to be consciously thought of. You have to consciously do these things. Um, I have to consciously remember, like, all right, 
you know, my wife has her cycle, and, you know, I should be nicer to her, I should, you know, I should, I should go get a heating pad, or I should go do this, you know what I mean, instead of being like, oh, well, she can deal with it, you know what I mean, I don't gotta deal with that shit anymore, she can deal with it, you know, um, I want to be that guy who is sensitive to that side of the field, because, you know, I was there, and I should, I shouldn't just forget about it, you know, I guess it's like if you were super poor, and then you became super rich, you know, um, you know, you used to be super poor. You should relate to those people still. You should just because you're living a different lifestyle than you ever lived before doesn't mean you you can't relate to the people that you used to relate to. You know, um, you shouldn't lose that side. So yeah, I'm trying not to lose it. Um, that's currently what I'm doing. <laughs> Today I'm going shopping with my wife, and I hate shopping now. Um, not like I was ever a big shopper, but I just like oh, it's like really. Again, another store with the same stuff. <laughs> but I'm just like, in, go, like it, don't like it, get it, try it on, got it, all right, let's go. You know what I mean? So, like, I'm going to consciously know, like, all right, I'm going to spend, like, four hours at the mall. I got it. I got this. Does it look good? Does it make my butt look big? Does You know what I mean? I'm going to handle it. I'm going to be good. My phone fully charged. Going to prep to sit for a little bit. And I'm going to be good. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so, you know, I feel like a lot of guys kind of come to this point and they don't consciously think of it. So if you're at the point where I'm at or if you're feeling, you know, whether on tea or you're feeling like how I'm feeling, you know, just like try to remember that, um, you know, we're like a good breed. You know, we've been there. We've done that. We're no longer doing it, but we can remember what it's like. You know, don't forget it, you know just sit around and, you know, do, you know, you know, paint your nails and, and put makeup on to remember what it's like to be a girl, um, or to live in that lifestyle as a female, um, and I just think it's important that, that we remember that, yeah, so, I'm working on that, three years on T, big deal, real big deal, um, and, uh, I'll update you with my surgery soon, because it's about to be four months very soon, and, uh, time's flying by, all right, guys, Peace.